All right, so let's look at the types of equations that we can see. The first type is a word equation. Word equations describe in words what is happening during the reaction. Only tell the identities of the substance. So an example of this would be hydrogen plus oxygen yields water. Notice how they're only in words, no symbols. Uh, the other thing you have to know is that it does not indicate the amounts of the substances. It only tells you what the substances are. The second type of equation is a skeleton equation. Skeleton equations use formulas to describe the reaction, but again, it only tells the identities of the substance. So our example is now H2 plus O2 yields H2O. Again, this does not indicate the amounts of the substances. The third type is actual chemical equations. And this tells the identities of the substances involved and it also identifies the amounts of each substance. So our example now is 2H2 plus O2 yields 2H2O. The numbers in front of the compounds are coefficients. So parts of a chemical reaction. So if this is our example here, we have 2H2 plus O2 yields 2. Everything on the left side of the arrow are called reactants. They react together to make the products. So everything on the right side of the arrow are called the products. It's what you're producing. Which numbers in front of the molecules are called coefficients. Coefficients tell us the number of compounds. So here we have two hydrogen compounds and two water molecules. The smaller numbers towards the bottom are called subscripts. They tell us the number of each atom in uh, each element. For, sorry, for each element. example here we have two times two hydrogen so we have four hydrogens on the left and we have two oxygens on the left and on the right side we're going to have the same number we have two water molecules but we still have four hydrogens and two oxygens between the products and the reactants means yields or reacts to produce it does not mean equals this is not math anything written above the arrow is a catalyst. It can be a symbol or it can be an actual formula. The symbol for the triangle actually means heat. Double-sided arrow is a reversible reaction, meaning that the products and reactants will kind of flow back and forth until an equilibrium is reached. The small letters at the bottom, though, those are states of matter. So G equals gas, L equals liquid, uh, S equals solids, and AQ means it's an aqueous solution. Aqueous solution just means that it's been mixed with water. Created using Powtoon.